Hey everyone, today I'm going to be going over an approach I developed for quickly loading scenes in the Unity Editor without using the Project tab. So I've got a project set up here to demonstrate. I've got a handful of scenes, scene A, scene B, organized into folders, folder Y, scene G, etc. And I'd like to be able to load these without having to go to the Project tab each time. In the end, we're going to end up with this nice Scenes dropdown that's got all the scenes in the project organized by folder, and you can just select any of them and load the associated scene. This is super convenient and has saved me tons of time in my more complicated projects. Let's see how it works. So first of all, we need some code to load scenes in the editor. I've got a function here called open scene, which takes in a scene path, and first of all, asks the user if they want to save their current unsaved scene, and if so, open the scene at the scene path. So this will work with any scene in your asset folder. It doesn't have to be added to the build settings. I want to be able to call this function from a menu item, passing in the path of the scene I want to load. Previously, I would code the dropdown by hand, going through all of my scenes, copy and pasting their paths, and creating all the code. But as my project got more complicated, I wondered if I could automatically generate the code based on my scene hierarchy. In the end, I came up with this script that auto-generates the code for the dropdown. Basically, it goes through your scenes folder, which I've got hard-coded here, and finds all the scene files inside of it, and then creates some code to generate the menu items to load that scene. This code is pretty complicated, and I'm not going to go into it right now, but if you're interested, check the description for a link to a working example project on GitHub. So in the end, this function takes all your scenes, generates a bunch of code to load them, and then writes that code to a new file. Let's see it in action. So if we go here, we currently don't have the scenes dropdown. But if we go to Tools and run Generate Scene Load Menu Code and Recompile, we'll see we've got a new file here called Scene Loader Dropdowns, and we've got the dropdown. So the dropdown's got every single scene in our project organized by folder, and you can go to any of them, click it, and it'll load that scene in the editor. Let's take a look at the code it generated. So if we look here, we've got this new file, Scene Loader Dropdowns, and it's got some custom generated code for each of the scenes in our project. So you can see here, it's got every single scene organized by folder, and then the menu item itself also reflects that structure. So we've got scenes, and then folder Y, and then scene G. Instead of having just a giant flat scenes list, this actually preserves the hierarchy of your scenes folder. And that's basically it. If you'd like to use this code in your own project, check the GitHub link for a working example project. It should be pretty simple to integrate into most projects. If you like this video, consider subscribing. I've got lots of small tips like this I haven't shown yet, so stay tuned. And as always, thanks for watching.